Hello everybody, my name is Bear and this is Flint Hook. It's a new 2D action adventure platformer by Tribute Games, who you may know for such entries into the uh, indie catalog over the last few years as Mercenary Kings, Wizorb, I believe, back in the 2012 days. That was them as well. This is a totally different experience for Tribute Games. This is again, as I mentioned, a 2D platformer with a with a hookshot mechanic that feels really satisfying. I'm going to go get more into detail about that as we begin this playthrough here. We're gonna start a brand new game in a brand new file here in Flint Hook. Let's do it. I believe we've got a little introductory segment as well, so I'll be able to tell you about a little bit more of the uh, the intricacies and the mechanics behind this one. So, pretty straightforward as we get into this. You're a space pirate attempting to uh, to salvage some loot. I, I think is pretty much the gist of it. We'll probably he hear more about uh, what he's actually got going on, what sort of enemies and storylines we've got unfolding within this place. But for now. This is the focus. You see this hook shot, which is an integral part of the uh, the game here. It's named Flint Hook for a reason. And it works really well, too. I really like the... Uh... Actually, no, hold on a second. I just realized. Big lore right here in just this, this little painting, man. It's going to be important stuff. Anyway, really satisfying to move around in this game. Of course, you got a wall jump as well. The movement itself, just the platforming, it feels really tight. And that is one of the best compliments I can give to any platformer. If it has tight controls, that's fantastic. That's all I need. You've got to nail this part of a platformer, and when you do, it's extremely satisfying. So I just, I really like that. Got the jump down, of course, as well. And right away, when you're playing a game like this, you can, you can kind of get an idea of the sort of skill ceiling that it has. You know, we talked about this at, on uh, the Roundtable episode discussing this game, Flint Hook. But, uh... It really feels like there's a pretty damn high skill ceiling for this one. Let me grab the chrono buckle real quick here as well. This is an important part, although it's not that great right now. I hear tell that you can actually upgrade this uh, slow time mechanic on the chrono belt and uh, allow yourself to slow it down for a considerable length longer, which would probably be real nice. I imagine that's going to help us out uh, later on down the road, but for now, we get one second of slow time. And, you're, of course, we're uh, learning about all these different subsets and systems here. But the core of it... Oh, well, hold on a second. What is this? Can I use this? Nah, we just got, like... We've got a chicken with its head in the ground right in front of us here. Moving its legs up and down for some reason. Then we got that massive cannon in the back that we apparently can't do anything with. Alright, here we go. Hook to pop. And that just shifts those things. Okay, and we can see that with the little symbols on those walls, the bells indicating that, that yes, that's how you, uh... That's how you shift the position there. We get this Mega Man-style warning into these, uh, enemy sections as well, which I really like. Those coins will disappear. The ones that we create from enemies will go away, so it's really important that we try to grab those. The economy, of course... You got your, uh, you got your very simple systems like shops within the game that you can go, uh, purchase new goodies from, and health, which ends up being pretty goddamn important, although luckily we just got a couple of apples right there, so that was what we needed. But your health becomes a very important factor. Oh, hold on a second here. <laughs> That's good. I'm a fan of that. Snapping your fingers seems to work well for me. You gave us a treasure chest and then left. Hell yeah. Grab the compass as well. You found Slimy! Your trusty goo compass. Feed enough ghost gems to this little guy and it'll guide you to your bounty in no time. Sweet. Oh, and the goods. Got ourselves a bounty right here as well. Now on the trail of Bad Billy Bullseye, unblinking leader of the Hardhorn Clan. Okay. It's going to go into detail about these systems pretty soon here, too. I think we're going to get to the uh, the menu screen not too far from now, and we'll be able to talk about this in detail. And there we go. Quote-unquote tutorial complete. That was, that was pretty much a tutorial. I don't know why I had to add that caveat to it. And here we go. Making progress toward our first level. A score of 3,400, which is top of the leaderboards, by the way. Don't bother checking. It is. And here is the menu system. So... I've unlocked a few of these already in my other playthrough, but I won't go into detail about those yet. But we'll just go ahead and shift right back into the play mode. Uh, we unlock these new places to go, and when we find new bounties, it gives us options as to who to try to take down. So we're going to go for Bad Billy Bullseye first, of course. The unblinking leader. 
And here we got perks. You collect treasure rank up and gain packs of perks, and you equip them to use up slots in your perk meter. Gain more perk slots from the black market. If you've been watching the Hollow Knight playthrough, this will seem really familiar with the badges and the charm slots and all that. But these ones, uh, they do have carryover effects, of course. If you want to give yourself more experience, that will carry over into your future playthroughs because more experience equals more levels equals more strength later on. Uh, you can also get a delicious apple each time you board the ship to try to give yourself a little bit of extra health to stay alive a little longer. Bullseye for the critical chance. Of course, these are very simple perks right away. We're going to get more complex things, I imagine, as we move forward. I'm going to go ahead and use the experience one. It seems pretty smart to do that early. And extra health is a little... I don't know, it doesn't really seem like it's worth it all that much. An extra apple right away could be nice. I think we'll just keep this in our inventory, in our active inventory slot, so we'll be able to use that whenever we need it. And I think this seems okay. We'll go ahead and use those perks for now. And we've got three different options. Two iron heads and a metal whale. This one, oh, this one's locked right now, though, isn't it? Or no, it's not. I had a little padlock down there, but apparently we can go this way. Okay. Might as well give it a shot. The Mermaidon Galaxy. How much lore is there, really? I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I, that's not just a, that's not me trying to be an asshole. That's me wondering how big of a storyline do we have here? We'll find out. Oh, okay, so it looks like we just ate the apple immediately. That's a little bit of a bummer. So as far as uh, progressing through these new worlds, you can see up there in the top right, of course, we do have a map. I know it's, it's pretty colorful. It's kind of difficult to parse out the different elements of the game, but we do need to have one right there that'll tell us where we're going. Two trips without a scratch will lead you to a new destination? Neat. Oh, that is in interesting information, actually. I've assumed that uh, it's good for us to not only go through a bunch of areas without getting touched, but uh, to to do our best to find secret areas as well, because it seems like the kind of game that would uh, that would have that sort of stuff available. So I want to be, be a little... Uh, a little more inquisitive if I can early on, but of course it is just important for us to get through this stuff right now, and god, I love that hookshot system when it, when it works so fluidly like that. Alright, let's see what we got. Typically the, uh... Typically the challenge is, is... not really that big of a deal. In a lot of rooms, it's just sort of like... run-of-the-mill, shoot enemies in the face, and then you're gonna be good to go, right? But... Oh, that's poison gas. Oh shit, I don't want to go down there, okay. But uh, there are certainly some rooms that provide a pretty hefty challenge, so it's... It's kind of a mystery which one you end up getting. Oh boy, alright, well that worked out pretty easy. Nice, got our health back as well, and we get ourselves a little bit of extra goodies here. Want to make sure we're getting rid of all the uh, destructible stuff as well, because that does usually provide us a little bit more value. Let's head over here. I love the music in this game as well, really upbeat and action-packed. It's a good time. So one of the, uh, one of the big issues that a few folks have had, I know Math has had this problem, is the, uh, the fact that you can't really control your character very well while you're, uh, attempting to do damage. Because you have to use the left stick both to aim and to move around, so it does, it creates some complications. And I, I certainly don't, uh, I, 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 I agree with that. With that analysis because it is it's, it's, it's extremely difficult to do both but I think that's on purpose we have an ability that we can unlock in a little while called a sniper which allows us to lock ourselves in position and do damage and that is it's better but it's still difficult and I wonder if there are gonna be other skills later on down the road that will that'll make it even easier to uh, maneuver and to, and to deal damage but we'll see this is an interesting one. We have, uh... Okay, so we can kill them. I was wondering if we can actually deal damage. And we can while we're, uh... We can while they are not in their spinning formation. That's fine. Let's see. I want to just get the, uh... The goods real fast. And then I suppose I'll just have to come up here and shoot that guy. There we go. The, uh... The falling in this game is an interesting thing as well. It's... It's very floaty. It takes a little bit to get used to that, too. But, uh... Once I had, I... Didn't really notice it all that much. Here we go, here we go. Let's get it. One more shot. I've not actually run into these pink starfish guys yet, the Patrick Stars of this universe. That's a new unique find, and a bomb as well, hell yes. So clearly we're not getting any benefits 
from uh, going unscathed throughout this. This is also the final chest, so I don't think I'm actually going to go for this yet. Oh, shit. Well, I mean, I might as well get this stuff now. I can't grab this yet, though, because once I grab this thing, I'm pretty sure that ends the dungeon. So instead of doing that, we're going to go over here. We're going to inspect some of these other places. Oh, my God, that's so satisfying. When I'm able to just very quickly fly through every last part of a room. That is what makes this game work for me. All right, we do have to go up. I thought I'd already gone up through this way, but I guess that was the uh, other place. Oh, here we go. This is nice and easy. Get some extra stuff here, too. You can see, of course, we're gathering all those coins down to the bottom left. And we're going to have definitely enough to grab ourselves an upgrade or maybe even some food if I feel like I need it. We'll see. We'll see what the uh, available options are. Oh, goodness. Watch out for the, uh, the thwomps here as well. Uh, we got a, a very precarious layout for this place. Holy shit, that is quite the trek, but there we go. Probably ended up being worth it, right? Yeah. Now, is there a uh, is there a bell we can hit to try to make this better? What do I want to do here? There's no... doesn't look like there's a bell. I'm looking for a bell to try to shift the, uh, the green tiles, but I don't think that's actually something you can do in there. Oh, well. That was probably worth it. Got quite a few coins out of that. And we're up to 682 now, which is fantastic. I should be able to get something really nice if I find a shop. And I'm imagining there's going to be one over here, too. Maybe even below us. Let's go down this way and see if I can't find something good. Oh, yeah, we can get through here. And uh, this dude wants to have a conversation. I don't have any more keys, unfortunately. So if I want to get through this place, I'm going to have to find another one. Oh, boy. I did not even see that. I can't hit this guy. Oh, shit. Uh... Do I need a bomb or something? I've got a bomb. I could try a bomb and see if that works out on him. Oh, boy. Their bullets go infinitely, I believe, as well, which is an important consideration. Not always the case, but when it is, it's got to be noted. There we go. That was nice and easy. Good shit. Oh, God. Okay, he's got a bubble, which means we got to kill everything else around us before we can get to him. Or even actually, no, no, I just got to hook him. That's right. That's right. That's how you do it. I was totally just holding B to try to heal there. That, that I, I am conditioned, man. I've got one key now, so let's... Before I use it, let's go check out the other areas. Hello. I believe I can get a map from this guy. Open all that up. There we are. Map has been revealed. Good shit. Okay. A good helmsman must always look toward horizon. And Coxswain forthright is a great helmsman. That is a fantastic name. I'm jealous of that name. Coxswain Forthright. My goodness. All right, let's go into here. I believe this is just a... Uh, oh, hey! That'll do. Fast Blast. Gives more speed to your trusty plasma pistol. That seems pretty good. And then we got a bomb here we could buy, which only costs eight. So that seems like it's worth it if I didn't already have one. Oh, that does damage. I didn't realize. There we go. We still get the goodies out of it. All right. That's all she wrote in this place. I still don't have a key for the other area. So maybe I try going all the way over to the right. That seems like a wise choice. We got a few other rooms over there that I'd like to check out. Oh, that's not a good idea. Okay. I'm taking a good amount of damage here. This is not good. It seems like we're going to be okay because I've nearly reached the end of this place. However, your health carries over. You want a treasure? Bet you'd be ready for a fight, short stuff. Ah, oh, fuck. The darkness seals us in. Careful now. I love the sound effects on some of these guys as well. Again, give me a little bit of a Hollow Knight vibe with the clearly human sounds. I like it a lot. There we go. Nice and easy. Die! Got it, got it, got it. Oh, boy. All right. Still bad damage. Let's get this combo going again, huh? Yeah. So is that... I think that only applies if you hit consecutive shots. Although I might have missed one there, so perhaps that's not accurate after all. Healing is good. Healing is good. Let's do this. We've got a few more rooms to check out. A couple more rooms to check out. Ah, another combat room as well. Here we go. I'm gonna go for you first. Hit the puffer fish. There we go. Both done. Got it. Get the goodies. 
Don't want to miss out on anything here. It's important to get this early stuff to be able to uh, stack up strength later on. We got a 29 combo going here. I wonder if this is just going to keep going so long as we don't take damage. That could be nice as well. More apples. There we go. That's nearly full health. That is full health. Fantastic. All right. We're in a much better spot now. Let's get all these goodies as well. Hell yeah. Destroy everything. That really should be my, uh, my philosophy, to be honest. I have no reason not to destroy everything I see. We'll go over this way. And this should be the last space. Pirate's Pep, why not? You're in high spirits by adding five to your health. Oh, I guess that just happens right away, too. It looks like, then, perks that we unlock within the dungeon itself are added on automatically. And then we have to add on more perks at the start of new dungeons. Which would be fantastic. I'm fine with that. Oh, that was terrible damage. Wow. Thought I could reach that hook. That was stupid. But we do have one more key, thankfully, from somewhere. That was awesome. That felt good. That's why I love it. No, oh, no, not that way, damn it. Actually, you know what? That'll work out. I can go over here. There we go. Now, do I go through here? I think I do. And then I, I try to go left, if at all possible. Oh, shit. All right, I guess that's just ignorable. What if I throw a bomb over here if that'll kill it? No, okay. Worth a shot. And I'm gonna get the extra stuff here, too. Missed a barrel over there, that's okay. Is there an access point to this one? There is, there we go. Nice! Pirate's deal. Special deals and shops for you, the Valiant Pirate. I don't need space meat, that's just healing. We'll take another Pirate's Pet to get them more health. Is your time belt for sale? I'd make so much gold selling it! Not this one, buddy. You'd have to pay me so much gold for me to sell it to you. I'd have to get fucking wealthy off that. Alright, time to bail, I think. We've done a pretty damn good job here. I've excavated quite a bit of moolah. Now this is still... it's got this symbol on this room still for some reason. I think that was just because it was the quote-unquote final area. Alright. Mash the space shell, get ourselves a ghost gem. Here you go, buddy. Mm-mm, good! Tasty. All right. Pretty clean, I'd say. Feeling pretty good about that first attempt. So we launch out on the battle anchor. Booyah! And it no longer exists. The metal whale complete. Ooh, looks like we have a little bit of a difficulty ranking down there, actually. The five skulls. Huh. Purse full of cornucopia loot and rumble room, bazaars and relic shop. A relic shop sounds good, actually. We probably want to... Let's go ahead and go there. That sounds like a good idea. I love the mission select. The options and the opportunities are, are tantalizing. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel like we're... We've got a lot of game left to play. Very exciting. All right, let's start left. And I gotta take off that start with an apple perk. That's definitely not that great. Oh, easy kills. Easy kills. Easy kills. Easy money. Well, let's go ahead and get that stuff as well. Nice. All right, good start. Good and clean shit here. No problem. Well, let's go up here. Oh, it's an obstacle course. All right. All right, I can deal with that. Grab those. Good. All right, no problem. I'm probably gonna have to end up backtracking through here. I'm, I'm expecting, so... Let's not get too encouraged just yet. Oh, shit. Whoa, that's interesting. Uh, so we gotta get... Like this. Or I can just shoot from, from underneath them, too. Yeah, that works out. Uh, well, you know what? I think I'm gonna let those coins go. Oh, boy, that was awesome. Okay. Get them. Get them. Yes. Wow, they're easy to kill. Holy shit. Oh boy, that was bad. No! Oh, shoot! Bad damage. So many bubbles. God damn it! Let's get our combo back. Oh my god, terrible, terrible, terrible. There we go. Alright. Took a lot of damage out of that. We gotta recover a little bit. We got some apples there. I've got one key. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use it right now. Hi! That didn't work. I don't think this is going to be that tough. Oh my god! I didn't notice that, though. Okay. That's all good. 
That's all good, no problem. Let's go ahead and go up. Oh, I can't go up. Alright, well, no, we can go up. There we go. Good shit. Oh, boy. Gotta try to kill him before I land there. Oh, my goodness. This is fine. Got it. Nice and casual. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, and the spikes as well. Damn, okay, I'm taking some big time damage here. I am so glad that reaches over there and I didn't realize I couldn't hook over there either. Okay, big hits. Big hits. Let's fix it up. Let's find some healing. Let's make this better. Ooh, I don't know if I even want to go for those two coins. There we go. Okay, well, we got that. We'll go for the other ones in a little while. And hopefully heal really nicely from this. Let's find out. There we go. That was easy. Okay, uh, a little bit tougher. Got it. Oh, I gotta hook him. I gotta hook him. There we go. Oh, he's new. Whoa! Homing missiles! Got it. That's a fun little critter, isn't it? Okay. More health. Thank you very much. Let's go up here. A phone! Added to your relic collection. Cool. If you want to get a bigger relic collection than me, you better hustle. Oh, I will, friend. Oh, I will! These fucking guys. What's the range on that explosion? Not too big, so I can be pretty, uh... Pretty reckless with it. Ah, oh, that was stupid. That got, gave away some gold there. Shoot. I have a key again. So I could go ahead and go down there. Oh, we got a little gold back here as well. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna try this out. Another shop. I could use that meat, actually. I'll go for the fleet feed and the uh, pirate's pep first. Might as well just grab this now. Because that's five maximum health, which is great. And I might grab this, but it's 80 gold. I might be able to heal without that. Move swifter. Just faster movement. That's fantastic. I travel across the ships to sell stuffs. Aren't I generous? The answer is yes! Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe, I guess. That's 25 health. That's a pretty good deal. And then let's go ahead and go out. Hit up that left room and then probably have to do a little bit of backtracking at that point. Oh god, this motherfucker is ridiculous, actually. Okay. He's so difficult. But I think I've figured out the strategy for the most part now. Oh, man. I got my ass kicked the first few times I tried to deal with that guy, and I didn't know what I was supposed to do, but I think I just discovered the strategy, so that's good. That's important. There's the chest, okay, so that- apparently he's normally the, uh, the, the final barricade to, uh, to completion. I can handle that now. I got a pretty good, uh, level of confidence in dealing with that enemy at this point, okay. All kinds of shit to destroy in here, which is fine by me. A bomb pickup as well, hell yeah. Grab ourselves the chest too. No health, but I don't think we really needed it anymore. Alright, that was a great room actually. We got a couple more rooms over here, the right and top. And uh, then we'll go hit that one on the bottom left and we'll be good to go, I think. Oh, the moves! He's getting fancy! Yeah, I'm gonna go say hi to you. Hi there. Better be ready for a fight, short stuff! Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready, you little bitch. Let's go. Right in my face. Oh, God. Well, that does the job, I guess. Shit. Oh, wow. Okay, no problem. I keep trying to heal. I am so caught up in that mindset. Oh, boy. This is a little, uh... A little intimidating. Hold on. Let's... Alright, just gonna let that go, I guess. Kill these guys. Oh my god. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Holy shit. Heals. Thank you. Man, 50 out of 115. Okay, we are hurting now. That was worth it, though. That was a little bit of extra cash. Oh, that was bad. I, ca I can't be reckless, man. Is that a potion? It's a tonic. Pirate's paw. I can't get all this stuff. Scaly sea dog. More resistant to hazards. That seems good. I can't afford the tonic anymore. Let's just go ahead and grab the pirate's paw. Attracts far away golden jewels. That's a good one, too. That's sort of like the gathering charm. That's definitely going to be a nice one. 
Oh, I was looking on the uh, other side of the map. I was wondering how to get below him, but that's not a thing. So let's go down, down, left. Check this room out. See if I'm maybe not more resistant to the hazards within. Oh, that is definitely a hazard. Okay, not a problem, though. We can get over here real fast, grab another bomb, which isn't really that important. Can I kill him with that? I can't. I was really hoping I could. Oh, God, that was terrible, too. Son of a bitch. Oh, I did take less damage to him, though. That's cool. Okay. Definitely good to know. I want to go all the way over to the right again. Even though it's only one room, I think it's going to be worth it. Because I can traverse this stuff pretty easily. I'm not really that worried about it. One last room. Totally going to be worth it. It's going to give me all the goodies. All the goodies. Come on now. See, look at that. I only got, I only got 225 gold, unfortunately. And a potion would have been miraculous, but... More max health. That's good, too. All right. Really wish I had some more gold for that. This is why it's important to grab everything. All right. All the way back on through. Just got to wait for the one cycle, and then we're good. And jump over here, no problem. Getting a little more confident with the wall jump as well, which is going to be big time. Up we go. Oh, goodness. Oh, don't, don't be reckless. I was just going to say, don't be reckless. We're taking weird damage now, though, which is actually kind of nice. Obviously, taking less is ideal. Oh, my God. Why am I so stupid? Looks like two less damage per obstacle, which is really going to add up quick. That's really nice. I might not be regretting starting with the apple now, because that's going to make our next mission a hell of a lot better. All right, here we go. Good shit. A little healing there as well. Nice. And another ghost gem. Hooray! Good stuff. All right. Took a lot of damage there, and I spent a lot of my gold, but I'm feeling pretty, pretty good about the amount of upgrades we've gotten, the amount of stuff we've excavated. Pretty fine start, in my opinion. Let's see what our level looks like now. Oh, did we not? Wait a minute. We didn't get any experience from that. I guess we gotta finish all this stuff first. Maybe. Let's see. Labyrinth, Platoon on Board, or Lockdown? How about... Well, they're all three, so I guess Lockdown. We'll try this out. I'm wondering what the, uh, what the end game for... Well, not the game in its entirety, but I'm wondering if, like, we're going to be fighting through these ship by ship, I suppose, because we're more or less destroying every ship that we board, it seems. So we're just moving through the fleet or something like that, and then we're going to be hitting up the, uh... Whoa, what the shit? He bounces it back to me. What? Oh, he hit me with a bomb. Oh, God. No, there we go. Okay, I was wondering how the hell it hit that guy. So I didn't think the normal damage worked, but it did. Alright. I got a little more gold on the bottom left over there. I know that. Alright, the left and right side of this place are safe. I don't have a key, so I can pretty much only do this. Alright, let's be careful. We're gonna... We're gonna die pretty quick if I'm not aware of the circumstances here. Uh, let's go ahead and go up and kill you first. Seems smart. Ah, oh, we gotta go like that. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, shit, no. Uh, we done? Yeah, they're gone. All right, great. <laughs> that worked out. Give me a key. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we can go up here. Let's try this. Oh, boy. Uh. Hmm. So I gotta go like that, like that, like that. Oh, boy. It hurts! It hurts! It hurts! Knock it off, bear! Oh god, come on now, buddy. You can do this. There we go. Get the health back. Boring necklace. Add it to your relic collection. Cool. That's a good one. I assume. Alright, alright. We did it. Still alive. Staying alive despite the odds. Let's go ahead and, uh, I need a key to go to the right side, I know that much. Let's just go ahead and knock this one out real quick. Oh, there were spikes there, I didn't even notice. Oh my god! 
Oh my god! Ah! Oh god! Terrifying room! The worst! Oh boy, now we got more combat, okay. Puffer fish probably won't be that bad. I hope. There we go, a lot more gold. Get him! There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Come on, come on! Got it? Oh, he got me! Oh, oh man! Well, there we go. We're getting some levels here, though. Level 2 unlocked. Level 3 unlocked. Level 4 unlocked. Level 5! Oh, almost there. Alright, plenty of perks. We got quite a, quite a few goodies. In that first attempt as well, and here we go. Unlock the relics in the black market as well. Black market's gonna be where we buy the uh, the new perks and get some permanent unlocks. So this is the rogue legacy progression system that everybody's talking about, where you carry over the purchases you make in the black market into your new runs. So we're gonna be looking at sniper. I think is a pretty damn good one to buy right away. We can use LB to lock in place and aim with the left stick. So we definitely want to try to try that out. I think I'll go ahead and get myself more perk slots as well. That seems pretty good. In fact, let's go ahead and get both of those to start off with. And uh, that looks pretty good to me. And that's going to do it, I think, actually, for this episode of Flint Hook. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode. Let me know if you like it with a like on the video. That certainly does help me out as well. And uh, subscribe if this is your first time here for more Flint Hook and other videos in the future on the Bear Taffy channel. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.